What's up, Madden 25 Gamers? Welcome to today's video, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about how we like to set up our coverage defense from the 3-4 formation. It can be found in the 4-6 playbook. This can be found in the 3-4 playbook, which is what we're using today. All several formations you can find this playbook in, but the, the, the pretty much the... Uh, universal 3-4 set is a 3-4 normal, and that's what we're going to base our coverage defense out of. And uh, the play we're going to come out in is obviously the cover 4, so that we can have the cover 4, the cover 3, the cover 2, and then the 2-man under. So what I like to do here with this play is to set up coverage defense with my team here. So basically we've been sending pressure out of the 3-4 solid, we've been sending pressure out of the 3-4 solid, and hitting it with the base play and stuff like that. They're used to basic rushes. Now we're going to start dropping coverage to match our pressure. So what I like to do here to set up a nice coverage defense is I like to base a line out of this play. I like to uh, leave my line like it is because it looks almost like a spread line from 3-4 solid. And then I'm just going to take my linebackers and I'm going to pinch my linebackers here. You see it's going to look very similar to the 3-4 solid. And then the only adjustment I'm going to make on my defensive line here is I'm going to quarterback spy Jonathan Babineau. And you see we're going to drop back into a nice little uh, seven-man, or excuse me, uh, nine-man coverage defense and do a pretty nice job at getting some block shed pressure. Now, the cool part about this is we can check down into our cover three or our cover two or our two men under. So our cover three version of this is very similar. We're going to base a line. We're going to pinch our linebackers. Now what we want to do is we want to drop this guy Weatherspoon right here. We're going to leave him blitzing. So we're going to drop extra coverage on the left side. So we're going to take ja uh, Jonathan Babin and we're going to spy him. Then we're going to take O.C. Benure here, your uh, left of screen defensive end, and we're going to drop him into a man assignment on the slot receiver or a curl flat zone, whatever one you want. I like the man assignment most. And you see now we're in a cover three. We, we were just in a cover four. Now we're in a cover three. We're sending a little bit different pressure to try to get one-on-one -on -one matchups and make the quarterback roll out to the side he doesn't want to roll out to. And there you see that's our cover three version. Our cover two version is pretty simple as well. We like to base a line. And then we want to do is we want to take this guy Warlow here and we want to put him into the deep blue zone. So it's basically a cover three. And then we're just going to drop Babino into that spy. And that's how we like to set up our cover two max coverage defense. You see, we just drop that middle linebacker deep. Another thing that you could do if you don't want to drop the guy deep, uh, this is something that I've seen a lot more lately. But what you could do is drop man assignments. So you could man up Warlow on Douglas and you could man up Beerman on. Davis. So you have two man assignments now. You still have two guys rushing. You lose the spy, but you do have a little bit better coverage overall because you see how they're going to run with them up the seams. And now if I try to hit the cover too deep, I'm going to get the guys to recover very well. So that's another option that you could do. Um, and then our last coverage defense, guys, is from the two man under. And what we like to do here is we like to base a line again pinch our linebackers just like last time and this is a really good two-man under because we get that hook zone from the linebacker and so the two-man unders we're really going to go max coverage and we're going to drop purple zones or curl flat zones on our defensive ends here and then we're going to take this guy dent and this is going to be our user player because he's guarding the halfback and now you see i'm dropping 10 guys in coverage and this is going to do a really good complement to my five and six man blitzes that we've already talked about uh, so some a lot of different things you can do here guys but the purpose of the max coverage is that we're not going to run it every play. But when we, when we do want to run it, we now have the flexibility to call it from a cover four, a cover three, a cover two, and a two-man under. And that's very a, a very effective way to play coverage defense in this game. So it's obviously very simple of our format here. We have our base play, our run defense, our man blitz, our zone blitz, and our coverage defense. All that mesh together and blend together to make a very good 3-4 solid defensive scheme. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed this scheme this week. And be sure to tune in tomorrow where we talk about how we set up our game plan, how we set up our audibles for this scheme. I'll uh, give you a little bit of insight on that, some plays like that, and some hidden plays we haven't talked about on the offensive side of the ball we're going to show you tomorrow as well. So thanks a lot for watching this week, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I do apologize. We had to double up on some days, some things got weird with the computer, but it is a work in progress, and we'll make sure that it's all good and ready to go for Madden 15. Thank you so much for watching this week, guys, and we'll see you guys next week with another great Madden 15 or Madden 25 scheme of the week. Thanks, guys.